looking ahead at these matchups. This is going to be a really fun season. We have a lot of really good teams this year. I'm so excited to see what happens next. On with the show. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, about now, about now, about now. What's poppin', y'all? It's Man Club Boy Bells. Welcome to another episode of Wisco Sports. Of course, we got more NFL predictions for week five. It's crazy. I've been doing a lot of videos on this, um, but I got to figure out, you know, what's going to happen because we got some interesting games going up, um, and I'm excited to make my predictions on these. Um, Packers are 3-1. and one. They're top of the division. Uh, the Cardinals are the only undefeated team left in the league. And we got a lot of teams that are kind of that are usually supposed to be good that are struggling. So this is an this is a new season for a lot of reasons, and I'm excited to see what happens. So, anyways, um, let's get to it. So, with our first matchup we have for Thursday night, the loss. Angeles Rams taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Seattle? Yeah, I, I kind of did jump the gun a little bit last week with my comment on saying that Seattle is going to have a miserable season. They ended up beating San Francisco. So, that was, a, that was a needed win for them. And I can at least say that. For the Rams, after blowing out the Bucks, they got blown out at home by the Cardinals. And... That's a very interesting thing, but from what I know, it's only October, and you can really tell what teams are good by December and January. So, honestly, there really isn't much to say as of right now. I think this is going to be a great game because, of course, anybody in that division is just so dang good, it's hard to really know who's going to win out of it. So, with that being said, I feel like after losing... That first game, their first game of the season against the Cardinals, I feel like I'm going to take the Rams winning this one on the road because I feel like it's just one of those games that really feels like that way. So I'm going to take the Rams to win this game. I just don't know if Seattle is going to have that good season. If they, if they win, Seattle wins, then that's a needed win because because Seattle needs these wins because they're really on the verge of dying down as a franchise. It just sucks to say, but that's how I see it. All right, going on to Sunday, we have an 8.30 game in London. They're doing London games again. How about that? And the matchup is the Jets and the Falcons. Okay. You know, they could have they could have picked a better matchup, but they decided to pick two teams that are just going to have miserable seasons. Hey, the Jets won last week. That's awesome. I said that. I literally was like, I don't need to talk about this game. Titans are going to win. No, oh, no, the Jets actually won. But, I mean, the Titans were without A.J. Brown and uh, Julio Jones. So, that was a big deal. But, the Jets, yeah, unfortunately, it just... Zach Wilson actually looked good. And, honestly, if Zach Wilson looks good, I think the Jets can win some games. But, obviously, their whole entire team is trash. You never know what's going to happen. But Atlanta, they lost an unbelievable game at home against the Washington football team. Washington football team really showed up. And Atlanta, unfortunately, could not get through. But Atlanta, they have an offense. They don't have a defense. So this really is going to come down to who come last possession, I think. With that being said, I feel like I'm going to actually um, take Atlanta just because it's not really a home or an away team, but it's primarily, you know, it could anything could happen. So I feel like the more experienced team, Atlanta, should win. All right, next up, Green Bay at Cincinnati. Both 3-1, and one, 
Cincinnati's three and one. They're a sleeper. They're an absolute sleeper team. Um, Joe Burrow, he's having an absolutely great season despite being despite being protected by that awful O line. Green Bay is also three and one. After losing that unbelievable game against the Saints, they have they've looked forward and they've continued to look like their last year self now. Do I believe Cincinnati is a threat? Not really, but they could be. So they're a sleeper. So I don't know what to really say. It's on the road. It might be tough, but I'm still going to take the Packers because I feel like they are the better team. And if they go and pressure that offensive line, that terrible offensive line, if they pressure them, I feel like the Packers should get this win on the road. I think it will be a very close game, but I believe the Packers will knock this out. Next up, Detroit at Minnesota. Detroit, they were getting blown out. Then they started coming back, but it just wasn't enough. Even though the Bears and Justin Fields still has not thrown a touchdown yet, Detroit still, Detroit's terrible defense obviously couldn't do much for most of the game, and Detroit's defense is just really struggling. Minnesota, they, they, oh, they scored on their opening possession. After that, they could not score a single point. Minnesota completely went quiet against the Cleveland Browns and lost. Um, they are 1-3. Detroit just has not won a game yet. So with that being said, um, I feel like it really depends on how things go. But being at home, I feel like taking Minnesota would just be the most reasonable choice. That's just how I feel. Next up, Denver at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is just struggling. Big Ben, I think, is just, he's hes done. It's just hard to really see him try to play, but he just can't move down the field. And I don't know. It's just scary enough to, like, see what could happen. But I don't know what's going to happen. Denver, they suffered their first loss against uh, Baltimore after winning against three teams that with a combined record of 0-9. That was, but now they the two of them won games, so that's at least a good thing. But Denver, you know, are they going to continue their struggles or are they legit? Now, who knows? Teddy Bridgewater is injured. Drew Locke had to come in. So if a Drew Locke is still in, I don't really see them winning against Pittsburgh. I feel like Pittsburgh needs a win to really get themselves their motivation back. So I'm going to I'm going to take Pittsburgh. Next up, Miami at Tampa. Uh, Miami, they're really not doing that well. Tampa Bay is Tom Brady, so I feel like if the Tampa Bay is at home, I feel like Tom Brady should win this game. It's just realistically, it should be that way. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Tampa. Next up, New Orleans at Washington. Uh, Jameis Winston looked all right, and then all of a sudden the the Giants came back and won a game in overtime. Saints aren't a lot happy about that. Washington, on the other hand, they have a great defense, and Taylor Heineke is actually really proving that he can be a starter. So, I don't believe we're going to be seeing Ryan Fitzpatrick for the rest of the season. I think Taylor Heineke has actually proven that he can really play the position well. With that being said, I'm going to actually take Washington because I think Washington has a chance here. And I think being at home, I think Washington can really do some stuff. So, I'm going to take Washington. Next up, um, Philly at Carolina. Carolina suffered their first loss against Dallas. Uh, Philly... They're struggling, really defensively especially. Um, there's nothing I really can say here. No Christian Caffrey still. He's probably going to be out probably a couple more weeks. Uh, Chuba Hubbard actually looked pretty good, the rookie running back, so that's a good thing. But Carolina, certainly, apparently Sam Darnold has the most rushing touchdowns in the NFL right now. Weirdly enough, that's a weird stat, but it's true. And they're calling him... The next Cam Newton. I have no idea why. But anyways, with that being said, Carolina, I think actually with a winning record, I feel like that's going to motivate them. I believe they'll get another win here. Next up, Tennessee at Jacksonville. Jacksonville has just continued to struggle after time after time. Tennessee, I think, just does not want to get another loss here. They already lost the Jets. I feel like losing to the Jaguars is just going to even be more much as embarrassing if that's the case, so I don't really believe Tennessee is going to drop another game, so I'm going to definitely take the Titans here. Next up, Patriots-Texans. 
That Patriots defense is really good. They just lost, unfortunately, Stephon Gilmore. He They cut him today. But you know what? It's whatever. The Packers get him? That'd be great. i make a video on that, which is cool. But no word, no word yet. But anyways, Texans, they just got embarrassed by the, the Bills. And <laughs> if they, Davis Mills is just going to get wrecked. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for him. And that's why tickets are as low as $31 at Energy Stadium right now. So anyways, I'm going to take New England because Houston is just not doing anything and they won't do anything probably for the rest of the season. So that's sad. Next up, Chicago at Las Vegas. Versus we're moving into the, uh, the 3 o'clock games. Um, Las Vegas suffered their first loss of the season against the Chargers. Herbert is looking pretty good. The Chargers are going to be a really hard team to stop. That is... I'm going to be completely honest. That is the truth. That's what I see. I'm not going to really make any opinions on it. But Raiders, I still think they're a great team. They got better defensively. That's a good thing. And Chicago. Um, are they a good team or are they not? I don't know. But everyone's still praising Justin Fields because they won't be, they beat the Lions still. He hasn't thrown a touchdown yet. So I don't know what's going on. Justin Fields, I assume, is going to probably start again. Or maybe it could be a Dalton, but I'm going to assume Fields starts. So, with that being said, you know, I feel like being on the road as tough as it is, I'm going to take the, the Raiders only because that's just how I see it. Next up, Cleveland Browns, Chargers. Cleveland won a very close game on the road against the Vikings after technically blowing them out in this, the second, third, and fourth quarter after one drive. They scored a touch, Minnesota scored a touchdown. Cleveland's defense really stepped up. And that's really, I think, Cleveland's got a great defense. The Chargers, on the other hand, they have an unbelievable offense. Justin Herbert is really proving to be a franchise quarterback, and I think he's going to be a star quarterback. It's just looking at it, that's how I see it. With that being said, I don't know what I see. But I feel like defense can win more. So I think Cleveland's going to win this. But if the Chargers won, I would not be surprised. So that's how I feel. I'm going to pick Cleveland. Next up, Giants, Cowboys. Cowboys, yeah, they're back this year. I think it's safe to say that they... I mean, we all know that Dak Prescott is doing whatever he can to lead this team. And Trayvon Diggs already has five interceptions on the year. Five interceptions in four games. What a season for Trayvon Diggs. That's incredible. Um, Giants, they won an unbelievable game in overtime, but the motivation is not going to be enough because if you're on the road and you're in Dallas, that's going to be tough, and I don't really see that happen. them winning. So I'm going to pick Dallas because Dallas, I think, is just going to have a better season, and with the way they're playing right now, they should win the division. So that's just how I feel. Next up, San Francisco, Arizona. Uh, San Francisco lost a game lost back-to-back -back games. They're all, they have not looked as promising. Maybe if Trey Lance gets the start here and Jimmy G's out and Trey Lance gets the start and Trey Lance really proves himself to be a star quarterback, then that may make me change my mind. However, Arizona's undefeated, and if they're at home, I feel like their motivation is going to continue, and I think Arizona is a tough team to beat. Kyler Murray right now is looking like he's going to win the MVP this year. I don't know what will happen, but anyways, I'm going to pick the Cardinals because why not? Next up, Buffalo Bills at Kansas City Chiefs for Sunday night football. How about it? Buffalo has continued to look dominant, and they look like they're not going to be stopped. However, Kansas City, they lost two games, and they're 2-2. Two and two. That is very interesting. Kansas City, could they, they don't know if they can afford another loss, but... Buffalo coming into Kansas City is going to be interesting because this is a huge test. Can Kansas City's defense hold Buffalo? The last last season, they could. But Josh Allen, he got a lot better. So who knows what will happen. My pick is going to be Kansas City just because they're at home and it's Sunday night. I feel like this is going to be a game that Patrick Mahomes shines. And even though Josh Allen shines as well, I feel like Kansas City will pop out at the end. And then finally, the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Colts, they got their first win, um, but they just have a tough schedule. They have a brutal schedule. Baltimore, 
they have a good offense, and of course I feel like it's not going to really change. So I feel like Baltimore will come out with this victory, because why not? So anyways, that's that. Those are my predictions. We're going to enjoy some football. We also got some playoffs for baseball coming up. I'll be making a video on that pretty soon. Oh, I mean, actually, I'm sorry. If you haven't seen my predictions on the playoffs yet, I already got one game wrong, so I'm kind of embarrassed about that, but it's all right. So anyways, subscribe below, comment with your thoughts, and as always, it's me at Club Boy Bales. Stay tuned for more updates. Go Pack Go. We'll see you next time.